Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and today we are going to do CompTIA Tech Plus practice test but before we dive in I would like to give you an update on CompTIA certifications as there have been some changes and if you know about CompTIA certifications then you know that there is CompTIA ITF plus certification but this certification is being upgraded to CompTIA Tech plus so in future there will be no ITF plus certification altogether if we click in here on this is CompTIA official website here you can read more that CompTIA IT fundamentals ITF is an introduction to basic IT knowledge this is pretty much the same as for CompTIA Tech plus but if you look here at the very top ITF plus is becoming Tech plus plus so now you will not need to do itf plus however i am sorry for the guys who have done itf plus already because that certification is pretty much being removed from comptia certifications and no further ado now let's get into the comptia tech plus practice it test questions and answers and as always i will be using skill test pro as this is one of the biggest and one of the most affordable resources where you can take different practice tests for many different examinations in compti microsoft and cisco so let's start with tech plus certification first question and first question is which component is responsible for storing the operating system and applications on computer so the question is asking about the component name that is responsible for storing the operating system and applications on computer ram cpu hard drive or power supply and here the correct answer for the component for which is storing our operating systems is obviously hard drive as the hard drive hdd or hard disk drive or ssd or solid state drive stores the operating system applications and files whereas ram provides temporary storage for active processes so when you are using a ram or what ram does pretty much it is only short time memory where hard drives and ssd drives are a long term memory which is being stored on your computer systems and next question i use the report that the laptop battery drains quickly which troubleshooting step should be performed first so if your laptop battery drains quickly which troubleshooting step should be performed first replace the battery check the power settings reinstall the operating system or upgrade the processor and here the correct answer would be check the power settings as adjusting power settings such as lowering screen brightness and if you didn't know guys then screen is one of the biggest components in your computer which is taking most of the battery whenever you are using your computer system and enabling battery save mode can help improve battery life before considering hardware replacement next question which of these is a cybersecurity best practice using the same password for all accounts checking an email links without verifying enabling multi-factor authentication or disabling antivirus software so which of these is the correct answer which is a cybersecurity best practice and here the correct answer is enabling multi-factor authentication as multi-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring additional verification beyond just password so that could also include for example your face scan before you are able to access your device a user needs to connect a new wireless printer what should they check first so if you want to connect a wireless printer what should you check first internet speed printer ink levels wi-fi network compatibility or monitor resolution and here the correct answer is wi-fi network compatibility as the printer must be compatible with the network and connected to the correct wi-fi next question what is the purpose of a surge protector enhances wi-fi signals protects devices from power surges charges multiple devices simultaneously 
or converts AC to DC power. And here the correct answer is protects devices from power surges. As surge protectors shields electronic devices from voltage spikes. What is the common symptom of failing hard drive? Slow performance and unusual noises. Blurry screen resolution. Inconsistent Wi-Fi connections. Or overheating power supply. So which of these four would be the most common issue when or common symptom when your hard drive is failing? And here the correct answer is slow performance and unusual noises. As usually when your hard drive is failing it is not related to SSD because SSDs don't have moving parts but if hard drives are failing usually you would hear some grinding noises. And this is slow performance and unusual noises is the correct answer. So clicking noises or this could be also grinding noises, slow performance and frequent crashes indicate a failing hard drive. And like I mentioned it has nothing to do with SSD drives as SSD drives don't have a moving parts like hard drives do. And next question, a user needs to transfer large files quickly between two devices. Which connection type is the best? Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, USB-C or infrared? And here the correct answer from these given answers is USB-C. As USB-C provides high speed data transfer rates compared to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or infrared. And next question, which of the following is volatile memory? So now we are talking about which is volatile memory. ROM, SSD, RAM or HDD. So which one is the volatile memory? And the correct answer when we are talking about volatile memory is RAM or random access memory. As RAM is a volatile meaning it loses stored data when power is turned off. So this in comparison to your hard disk drive or SSD drive it is losing its memory and everything what is in memory when you power off your device or your computer. What does a VPN do? Speeds up internet connections, disables firewall protection, encrypts internet traffic for privacy or blocks pop-ups. So what VPN or virtual private network do? And here the correct answer is encrypts internet traffic for privacy. As VPNs secure internet connections by encrypting data providing anonymity and protection from hackers. Which of these is not an operating system? We are talking about which is not an operating system. Windows 11, Linux, Mac OS or Microsoft Office. And here you should know the operating systems which are out there like Windows, Linux and Mac OS and obviously Microsoft Office is not an operating system as this is the Microsoft's application. As Microsoft Office is productivity suite not an operating system. A user wants to store a large amount of data with fast access speeds. Which storage type is the best? So if you want to store a large amount of data which you can access very fast. Which storage type is the best for this purpose? HDD, SSD, USB flash drive or Blu-ray disk? And here the correct answer is SSD, solid state drive, as SSDs offer much faster read-write speeds than HDDs, making them ideal for performance and quick data access. What is the purpose of an HDMI port? Charges devices, connects to the internet, outputs power to peripherals, or peripherals, 
transfers audio and video signals or transfers audio and video signals. So which would be the correct answer here? And here the correct answer is that by using HDMI port you can transfer audio and video. HDMI transfers high definition video and audio between devices like computers, TVs and gaming consoles. What is the function of a firewall? So why would you use a firewall on your computer system? Boosts network speed, blocks unauthorized access to a network, stores backup files, or increases Wi-Fi. And here you should know that we use firewalls to protect networks. And most correct answer is blocks unauthorized access to a network. And if we are talking about antivirus software, then we are talking about protecting our applications. So firewall protects network and antivirus software protects our computer applications. So the correct answer here is blocks unauthorized access to a network. As firewalls monitor and control incoming outgoing network traffic to protect against security threats. Like I mentioned here straight away, if you didn't know this, remember that we use firewalls to protect network connectivity, which is, which is dealing with incoming and outgoing network traffic. And next question, which file system is typically used on a USB flash drive for compatibility across different operating systems? NTFS, FAT32, APFS or HFS Plus? Which is the correct answer here? And here's the correct answer is FAT32 as FAT32 is widely supported across Windows, Mac OS and Linux, making it ideal for USB drives. And next question, what is the primary function of a router in a network? So why would you even consider using router or why would you have a router in a network? What it does and answers are converts digital signals to analog, assigns IP addresses and directs traffic, provides power to devices, or controls screen brightness. And here the correct answer is that we have your routers to assign IP addresses and to direct traffic. As routers manage network traffic and assign IP addresses to devices ensuring efficient data routing. And to be more precise, router is the multifunctional device which includes many different options like for example it is also acting as access point and it is assigning IP addresses by using DHCP, but for this exam you don't need to know it so deeply. And next question, which of the following is an example of an input device? Monitor, printer, keyboard or speaker? So what device of these devices you are using to input data into the computer? And correct answer and most obvious is keyboard, as we use keyboards to type something to input data as keyboard is an input device used to enter data into a computer while monitors, printers and speakers are output devices. A user forgets their Windows login password, what is the best solution? So if user have or you have forgotten your Windows login password, which would be the best solution from these given answers? Perform a factory reset reinstall Windows, use a password reset disk or administrator account, or replace the hard drive. What would be the best answer here? And here the correct, correct answer is use a password reset disk or administrator account. A password reset disk or an administrator account can be used to reset the password without losing any data. Next question, what does IP stand for in networking? So what is IP? Internet process, internal protocol, internet protocol or interactive processing. 
And here you should know that IP stands for Internet Protocol. As the Internet Protocol, IP defines rules for routing and addressing data packets to ensure they reach the correct destination on a network. Which device is responsible for converting AC power from an outlet into DC power for computer components? And first thing what you should know about computer, as this is the beginner exam, tech beginner exam, you should know that in our sockets we have AC power, but all different components of our computer are using DC power. So when our computer is connected to a socket, or to AC power which is coming in into our computer before is this power is being converted to DC which part is responsible for doing this for converting AC to DC power for computer components like power supply unit or PSU uninterruptible power supply UPS surge protector or inverter and here the correct answer is power supply unit, as power supply unit is pretty much converting AC power into DC power, as the PC PSU converts AC power from the wall into the appropriate DC voltage needed by internal computer components. And next question, which type of network connection offers the most stable and fastest data transfer rates? Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet or cellular? And here the correct answer is Ethernet, as Ethernet is your cable connection and it is the most stable and fastest data transfer option from these all given options. And this is it for this test and like I mentioned if you are interested in taking more tests you can go to Skill Test Pro and you can take these tests for yourself. As like I mentioned at the start of this video Skill Test Pro is one of the biggest and one of the most affordable practice test option out there. As there you pay only about 6 or 7 euro per month or you can get a lifetime access and you can take all these practice tests from different examination providers like CompTIA, Microsoft, Cisco. If we click into CompTIA you can see there are like CompTIA Core 1, there is Core 2 and in future if you would want you will be able to take all these examinations in all these different providers. So yes guys this is what I wanted to share with you in this video and if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one